Assalamu alaikum. Happy Ramadan. Welcome kids to Ramadan Stories of Superheroes. Today I have a really nice story for you guys about a woman who's a hero and her special superpower is that she was such an amazing sister. What? Sisters are superheroes? Yes, sisters are superheroes. If they help teach you things about Islam and if they love their family and they love Allah and they love Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'm sure your older sister is a hero too. Yeah, she is. She taught me how to pray. Yes. And have you ever heard the quote, having a sister is like having a best friend you can't get rid of. Have you ever heard of the hero Fatima bint al-Khattab? Khattab? Uh, Umar bint Khattab's sister? And uh, why is she so special about her? Yes, Umar bint Khattab's sister. Let me tell you the story and you'll see why she's so special. Close your eyes. Let's travel back to Mecca hundreds of years ago when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was first calling people to Islam. And the people closest to him at first, they immediately became Muslim and they believed that he was the messenger sent from Allah. Like who? Who were the first people who became Muslim? Um, Khadija, his daughter, uh, Abu Bakr's best friend, and uh, Ali. Yes, and a lot of the weak people, uh, some of the poor families, they were also becoming Muslim. But they were hiding that from the stronger men of Quraysh because the leaders of Quraysh, they were not entering Islam, maybe out of arrogance, and also because Islam is telling them all men are created equal. And for them, no, they want to stay high. They don't want to be equal. They treat their servants harshly and hit them. Islam does not allow that. Islam says, pay zakat to the poor but that's not good for their businesses so a lot of people were late and they hadn't become muslim yet one day fatima bint al-khattab was at home and her husband comes home saeed ibn zayd he is so enthusiastic and he tells her i have something so important to tell you fatima i was sitting with some of the believers in muhammad and they were reading to me some verses of the Holy Quran. And I became Muslim and I will never worship idols. Fatima radiallahu anha listened to her husband with respect. She listened to the verses he was reading of the Quran. She felt peaceful, she felt happy. She knew that is right. And she said, So now Fatima and her husband are Muslim and they study in hushed voices at home and they're hiding that they became Muslim. Fatima's a little bit nervous because who is her brother? Umar bin al-Khattab. Umar bin al-Khattab is her brother and he still did not become Muslim and everyone in Mecca is afraid of him and he was one of the people in the beginning who were harsh on the Muslims. He in the beginning said that um, he will stay on the religion of the Arabs, like his father and his grandfather and great-grandfather. They worshipped idols, so he's not going to change. That was only in the beginning. So she didn't tell him. But Fatima, in her heart, she wishes that Umar, her brother, would become Muslim because she loves him and she wants him to experience this beautiful religion and enter Jannah, inshallah. And a lot of the Muslims wished that Umar would become Muslim because he's so strong. And if he became Muslim, then he would protect them from the other leaders of Quraysh. But one day, Umar was sitting in the meeting hall of all the leaders of Quraysh and the businessmen. They talk about, you know, stuff like politics, things, and, uh, things about um, the society in Mecca. And one man said, what are we going to do about this Muhammad? He is bad for our business. Not a lot of people are buying the idols anymore. He has a lot of followers. Oh, this made Umar ibn Khattab very mad. And he said, for once and for all, 
I think I will rid us of Muhammad. I will kill him. He took out his sword and marched out of the meeting hall and stormed away. And when Umar ibn Khattab walks when he's angry, you feel that the earth is trembling underneath you. One man who was thin and weak noticed Umar ibn Khattab walking and he comes up to him and he says, uh, oh, oh, Umar, uh, wh where are you going? Uh, why do you seem so angry? Umar ibn Khattab said, I am going to Muhammad and I will kill him. This man was Muslim, but he didn't say he's Muslim because he's afraid and he needs to protect Muhammad sallallahu But how can he stop Umar? Umar is this great man. He said, well, uh, I don't think that's a good idea. If you kill a pro a Muhammad, then his family and his tribe will get revenge on your tribe. That didn't work. Umar is not afraid of anyone. So the man says, uh, well, well uh, before you go and kill Muhammad, why don't you check out your own family? You don't even have control over your own family. Don't you know that someone in your family became Muslim? Umar ibn Khattab was thinking, what? Could it be my sister, Fatima, and her husband? How dare them? How could she go against my words? I'll go there right now. Oh no, Fatima! Fatima and her husband, Saeed, were at home. They were studying some verses of the Quran. In fact, one of Saeed's friends, Khabbab, was with them in the house. He was teaching them the verses that were revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They were practicing to memorize. They were studying the meanings of the verses. Little did they know that Umar was on his way to her house. Umar ibn al-Khattab approached his sister's house. He noticed that the door was slightly cracked open. So he came closer and he was very quiet and he tried to listen to the voices inside the house. He heard something. He heard a humming sound or voices and he didn't know what it was. He banged the door. When Saeed and Fatima and Khabbab realized that that was Umar at the door, Khabbab was so scared, he went and, and hid. Maybe he hid behind the curtain or somewhere in the house. And Fatima and Saeed, they hid the piece of cloth or maybe leather that had the verses of the Quran written on it. She hid it because she was afraid and they just nervously sat down and Umar barges in. He says, what is that sound I was hearing? Saeed says, sound? What sound? I didn't hear anything. Umar al Khattab was even more angry. He said, is it true? Is it true what I heard that you have followed the religion of Muhammad? Before Saeed even had a chance to answer Umar's question, Umar just attacked him and was hitting him. And Fatima, she's worried about her husband. Umar, my brother, stop. She tries to stop him. She gets in the way. And maybe by accident, Umar's fist or somehow she gets hit on her ear. I think she was wearing earrings. And then where, the hit, where she got hit, where the blow came, because Umar is so strong, her ear started bleeding. And then Umar, uh, when he saw the blood on his sister's face and her ear, he just had an avalanche of emotions. He's sad. He remembers his sister and, and their childhood. She was his best friend. And now he hurt her and she was bleeding. So he felt sadness and regret. He was also still angry and he was surprised. She's a woman and she was so strong and she tried to stop him. So how was she so strong? And then 
He calmed down, he took a deep breath, and he sat down. He said to Fatima, show me what you are reading. Fatima radiallahu anha knows that the Quran is the words of Allah, kalamullah, it is noble and holy. So she said to him, Umar, my brother, you are still a disbeliever. I want you to go and bathe and make wudu, and then I'll give it to you. So he listened to his sister Fatima. He went and he washed and came back. And she gave him the verses of the Quran that they were reading. Taha, ma anzalna alayka al-Quran litashqa. So Malak, what do you think Umar did after he heard the verses of the Qur'an? He became Muslim. Yes. He said, these verses, it's so beautiful, so powerful and melodious. It's nothing like I ever heard in my life. It can't be that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, just made it up. It has to be the word of Allah. And he became Muslim. In his sister's house? Yes. You see why? I told you Fatima is a hero. She helped guide one of the best Muslim men to Islam. And then Khabbab, who we said, remember he was hiding because he was so scared? Phew! Now he feels it's safe, so he comes out and he's so happy for Umar. The Muslims in Mecca rejoiced that Umar ibn al-Khattab was Muslim. Allahu Akbar! Now they have Umar ibn al-Khattab on their side, one of the strongest, bravest men in Mecca. And after Umar ibn al-Khattab became Muslim, for the first time in Mecca, the Muslims went out to the Kaaba and prayed right there in front of the Kaaba. They were not hiding anymore because Umar ibn al-Khattab now will defend them. Now I see why Fatima radiallahu anha is a really great superhero. So all loving sisters uh, who teach their brothers and sisters good things are heroes. Yay! <laughs> Salaamu Alaikum.